I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I tell you what, we got some good stuff to share with you this week. We've had a great week here on the drbill.cc blog. That's D-R-B-I-L-L dot C-C for computer curmudgeon, as you well know. We've had a great week because this week we had live, as it happened, coverage from the Computer Electronics Show, the CES show for 2012, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. And the tech podcasters were all there in force. Todd Cochran and all the folks there did a great job covering CES. So I appreciate that. I thank them for that. And it's another reason that we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com, if it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon, drbill.tv. Whatever it is you want to call what we do. Because <laughs> we just do it every week. You know what I'm saying? Tech news. We got tech news. Boy, do we got tech news. The CES coverage was awesome. And you can actually go back and review some of the things that they videoed by going to Tech Podcast TV, tpn.tv, and check out the video from Tech Podcast. If you didn't get to see it live as we carried it on the website, then there you go. Now we have gone back to our regularly scheduled website but you'll notice in the upper right hand corner of the page we now have a WebM and HTML5 uh, version of our netcast. So the most recent netcast will be there where you can just click on that and see it anytime you want to and then below it you'll notice we've added little tiny little, tiny little icons so that you can see how to subscribe to the netcast. Make it even easier for you. So there. And give you choices. You have so many choices of where to subscribe. I have my ViewSonic tablet here in front of me. And so we'll go directly to the blog and talk about some of the things that I blogged this week on drbill.cc. First of all, logins are verified via Twitter. I don't know if I like that or not, but it's something that's coming. The next big thing, well, maybe not the next big thing, but one of the next big things on the internet is this whole idea of identity management. I'm sure if you're like me, you get tired of typing, you know, login ID after login ID, website after website, over and over and over. Wouldn't it be nice to just have one ID and be able to log in with that ID throughout all the web? Well, that's the idea behind this whole thing of using Twitter, your Twitter account, as your login methodology. And so what Twitter did this past uh, week or so is they introduced the new at sign handle distribution pilot program to uh, developers so that developers can use the verified account at sign handle. So like mine would be at D-R-B-I-L-L. Um, B-A-I-L-E-Y, get my name spelled right. Anyway, it's right here on the screen. You can see it. Anyway, that would be my Twitter handle, of course, and that is what I would use to log into websites if I did that S using this particular methodology. So, there you go. Now, last episode, we had a, uh, I guess you call it a rumor? <laughs> A rumor about Barnes & Noble selling off the Duke. Barnes & Noble responded to that rumor by saying, What? No way! Well, the Barnes & Noble CEO says we're committed to the Nook. Although there have been doubts about the Nook and ebook readers in general lately, Barnes & Noble isn't giving up on the brand anytime soon. CEO William Lynch told CNBC today that Barnes & Noble will continue to reinforce the relationship between the digital Nook e book brand and its brick-and-mortar stores. So they're committed to their business model. 
That's a good thing. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, it is. Also, before I forget, we have a great sponsor in Mosey Pro for Business. Listen, you need to back up. I'm telling you, if you don't back up, you are subject to lose all your stuff. <laughs> it's the truth. And what you need to do is you need to get Mosey Pro. Now, Mosey Pro is available right here at this URL that I have on the screen. And if you use this special code word, PODCAST15, you can get 15% off of Mosey Pro. And I'm telling you, you don't want to lose your photos, you don't want to lose your videos, you don't want to lose all the files that you have out there stored on your computer, so you need to back them up. And I, I tell you the truth, you won't remember to do it. You might as well just remember one thing. Go to this website, sign up for it, set it up one time, and then it will remember for you. It will back it up as changes occur. You won't have to think about it again, and you'll be safe. So use Mosey Pro. It will be awesome if you do that. Yes. Okay. Next thing we want to talk about here is a very special announcement that was made at CES. Monday, as a matter of fact, of CES, and that is Ubuntu TV. Ubuntu TV. You say, what is Ubuntu TV? It is TV for humans. <laughs> That's what they call it anyway. I've got a YouTube video that will demo that to you. As a matter of fact, I'll start the video up here. Hear the music? That's the video. Isn't that cool? <laughs> right off of my tablet. Okay, let's stop the music because even though it's cool music, it can be loud, particularly from the stereo speakers off my ViewSonic G tablet. Anyway, the point is Ubuntu TV is an awesome idea, and that is to use the Ubuntu Unity interface, and that's really the purpose behind naming it the Unity interface, is to have a unified interface across all kinds of different platforms, including your TV. So they have all kinds of neat stuff that they are using to uh, make your TV more human, um, what, human friendly, <laughs> uh, as opposed to alien friendly? I don't know. Anyway, it's a cool idea and you need to check it out. So go check out the article here. Now, the other thing I want to remember is our go to meeting for HD faces. We've got an offer there too. 30 days, 30 days free that you can try go to meeting. Now, the thing about go to meeting is you don't have to worry about getting in a plane, going to a meeting, getting a rental car, all that kind of stuff. No, you can stay right at home, be comfortable, and use go to meeting. And if you use the special URL right here, special offer, you will be able to use go to meeting and you'll be able to try it for 30 days absolutely free. And the best way to know whether it's going to be a benefit for you, which it will be, but go ahead and try it. 30 days free. You can't beat that. So go to this special URL. Take advantage of the offer for GoToMeeting. I'm telling you, it is an awesome tool and it will help you whether you're in business, you're doing it for business reasons, or you're doing it because you just want to get up with your family and find out how they're doing. GoToMeeting will help you. And now with HD Faces, it's HD. Dude, you can use your HD webcam and have cool meetings with GoToMeeting. All right, last item this week is the gaming platform that's very, very different. It's not a PC, it's not a handheld, it's not a tablet, but it's also all of those things. It's a full-blown PC gaming platform in a handheld design. I've got a picture of it right here on the blog, you can check it out. Very, very interesting. So there's all kinds of things that they demoed at CES. You can check them out all on Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com, I'll put that right here, or tpn.tv, also put that here, and you can check out all the interviews and all the demos they did of all the stuff going on at CES this past week. So check it out. Join me again next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here.
Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillDaily.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.